refrigerator. Down here. All this stuff has to get bagged up. So this is gonna be a big job. Pretty bad in there. This is the worst part right in here. All this stuff. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel where I incorporate my faith into my videos. I have my pickup truck today. So uh, the box truck is full and I actually have to do a little bit of mechanical work on the box truck. So I have the pickup truck right now and it's full. I have to empty that right now at the, the landfill, which kind of sucks because you know there's not as much in the pickup. So, but it's okay, we do what we can. So, all right, so let's get going. Hey, so as you guys are driving around, what kind of music do you listen to? Um, when I listen to the radio, as I'm driving around from job to the job site, I actually like to listen to uh, K-Love. Uh, it's a Christian contemporary radio station. You probably have one near you if you just find the, uh, if you dial it correctly, find the, the station for it. But K-Love is, is all over the place. There's also Word FM and different Christian contemporary radio stations. I find that when I listen to Christian radio music while I'm driving, it just helps me to stay positive. Uh, it's positive, encouraging, it's uplifting, it's, uh, it's great music, it's contemporary. Um, and again, I just find that I am a more upbeat and positive person. I have a better attitude and outlook on life. It just helped me with my, with my walk with the Lord. So uh, if you are a believer, uh, listen to some Christian radio as you're driving around. And if you're not a believer, listen to some Christian radio as you're driving around. You might be surprised. Uh, it, it just helps you be more positive. That's all. All right, we're getting to the dump now here in just a second. Hold on. All right, we're here. I'm gonna weigh in, see how much this bad boy weighs. Probably not much, it's just a pickup truck. Okay, so that, of course, I knew would be the minimum fee. Uh, the minimum dump fee where I live is 50 bucks. So that kind of sucks, but you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, guys, so we got some uh, worth of scrap yard again here today. As you can see, you don't have a whole lot today, just have a pressure washer, it's completely busted. I'm not even gonna try to resell it this time of year. Air conditioner, washing machine. Obviously I can't get rid of the TV here, but, and just some loose odd metal stuff. I just gotta get this, I gotta get this uh, empty because I got a load I gotta do here. Okay, well I just left the scrap yard and I got $30 and 54 cents. Right there, as you can see, 30 bucks. So not a whole lot, um, again, it's something. So I'm gonna be looking for a place to store all this metal. Like I said, my box truck is, I need to put a battery in it. So the only way to haul anything right now that I have is a pickup truck, but it had a bunch of metal in it. So I had to I had to get everything out. Ideally, I would wait until I have a bigger haul to stop at the scrap yard. But you know, still, I mean, 30 bucks is 30 bucks. So I'm glad I got that done. Okay guys, well, we're back in the box truck. I got the battery all swapped out. So thankfully it was just a battery issue. Um, so we're back in the box truck, which makes me feel good. Um, so anyway, I am on my way now to give an estimate for a clean out. A lady had, uh, I don't think she passed away, but I think she's in a, like a nursing home or skilled nursing facility. And I believe it's the daughter that had called me. So, I'm going out there right now to take a look around. Uh, it sounds like it's a pretty big clean out. Uh, she had mentioned that there's uh, three three rooms, uh, a basement, a garage. So it sounds like it could be a pretty big job. So I'm hoping it will be a big job and I'm hoping that I get the estimate. So it's always good to go give estimates in person. Uh, that's my one, one tip that I have for you. But if someone on the phone requests an estimate, say, you know, I, I want an idea of how much it's gonna cost, always state your minimum price <laughs> because if you tell them what the full load price is let's say it's four five six seven eight hundred dollars whatever it is based upon your size truck they might get kind of freaked out so when they hear the minimum price whatever the minimum is for you it could be 65 it could be 95 it could be 120 whatever the minimum price is for you i always state what the minimum what your minimum price is and then it just goes up from there so i'm heading over there right now and i'm going to do my best to sneak you in so I'm gonna film a little bit if I can, and hopefully more, so you can see as well what I'm saying. So stay tuned. And of 
course, no video would be complete without my Starbucks addiction. So when you stop and get gas, make sure you're paying attention to what number you're hitting. I accidentally hit the plus instead of the regular. I didn't realize until after I was finished pumping. 85 bucks to fill up this truck and normally it's like 60. So I dropped an extra like 25 bucks because I put plus instead of regular. So <laughs> pay attention to what you're doing. Ah, that was annoying, but I guess I got better gas in the, in the tank now. All right guys, so we're in the house and I'm putting my mask back on because it smells really bad in here. So I'm gonna do a walk around to show you everything. It's a lot. This is one bedroom, two bedrooms. All that stuff. Refrigerator. This stuff has to get bagged up. So this is going to be a big job. I can't take the TV. I told her um, in Pennsylvania we have pretty weird laws about taking TVs. Um, so a big TV like that I can't take. This pool table she's going to donate. Um, now the worst part, oh, in here, it's some kind of train set. It's pretty bad in there. This is the worst part, right in here. All this stuff. So that's uh, pretty much it. <laughs> so this is gonna be a huge job. Um, definitely the biggest job we're gonna do if I get this estimate. I mean, she sounds like she just wants to hire us. So um, I gotta think about how I'm gonna price this because you know, not only is it a lot of stuff and it's gonna take several truckloads, getting this, we have to pick all this stuff up by hand. So, I mean, there's a lot of stuff to bag up. I mean, this is gonna take a while to bag all this up. So anyway, guys, stay tuned and uh, we're gonna keep uh, keep going here in a second. So go ahead and drop a comment below and let me know what you would have charged for that clean out. Basically, it's a hoarder clean out. Uh, the guy is in a nursing facility now. It's actually the, husband, uh, the father who is in a nursing facility. So it's basically a father who is in a nursing facility now and he was just a hoarder. There was, ended up being five refrigerators in that place and some sofas and just, just a mess. So just let me know in the comments below how much you would have charged. I'm just curious to find out. Uh, I, I don't think she was expecting to pay that much. I mean, she had mentioned that she had thought about just renting out a dumpster and hiring some teenagers to do it. And I'm just like, lady, you don't want to do that. Number one, that's an insurance issue right there. Um, but number two, this is going to take a lot of work. You need a professional to do it. So anyway, um, I'm going to email her. I gave her an idea of how much it was going to cost. So I'm going to email her over an estimate. Um, and uh, see if she goes with it. So that'd be a nice, nice winter job right there that we should, we should build the bang out. Let me know how long it would take you to do as well. I'm curious how long it would take you to, to do that. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Please consider subscribing to this channel. And if you could give this video a like, it helps the YouTube algorithm out. And it also lets me know that you guys like watching these specific types of videos. So I appreciate it. God bless. Keep reading the word and growing every day and we'll talk to you soon.